We have a student leadership program and it's called Mad Hornets. It's a group of students that are leaders and it stands for Making a Difference Hornets. They basically mentor our freshmen. It's been a really good experience, I think, for both our freshmen and our student leaders because these lessons can teach anyone. I know that it's impacting each one of them differently. I love the program and I think our students need this in our culture today. So our Habitudes program is really unique because we actually have Mad Hornet leaders and those are seniors who have been picked by um, teachers and faculty to be the leaders of these freshman groups that are doing Habitudes. I really just facilitate, get things set up and I answer questions and I make sure everybody is focused. But for the most part, our seniors are the ones who actually give out the information, which is um, really cool because the freshmen like the seniors a lot and they actually listen to what they have to say and they're able to guide them so they have personal relationships with them on top of being able to teach them. So it works really well here. And I I've just seen a lot of confidence being built. The magic happens in small groups, I think, when we're able to talk about things and debrief together. And just to see them go from where no one wants to share anything to where no one will stop talking is a really cool transition. So my favorite habitude was the Golden Buddha because, you know, it allowed me to see that you don't base your opinion off of what's on the outside. You look into what's inside because once you get to know somebody, they could be the complete opposite of what you thought. Everyone has their own, like, special thing about them. I know that I have the opportunity to help these freshmen because I know exactly where they're coming from. And to have someone there to tell you what's going on, to tell you these lessons, you know, that we've been learning, it's real, you know, comforting. The iceberg, it relates to me because I don't want people to see me as a jock. I play football and everything, but that's not what I want people to know me as. I want people to know me as a nice person and I want them to know, you know, that extra 90% that they maybe don't see. I want to make that visible to them. This year I've seen that the freshmen have just developed more confidence in themselves. They understand that they can be leaders and that they, you know, have more of an influence on other people than they think they have. They're coming out of their shell. Well, there is one particular girl. She is in my personal small group. She has a lot of personal like issues about herself and she doesn't think that she is good at anything, but if you asked her, if you asked her that a year ago, she would have said all that. If you asked her that today, she would have so many things that she would say that she's good at right now. Because, you know, it just takes one person to look within you and tell you, hey, you're more worth more than you actually think you are. And she's never had that before, but this book is now giving her a chance to see that she is so much greater than she gives herself credit for. I've never seen that happen before. It's You see a change in us, and so I feel like when other people who don't necessarily know that we're doing this stuff, they see us and they're like, what's gotten into her or what's gotten into him? I like how they're doing this more and I like how they're acting like this more. I'm doing more with my life. I'm doing something different. I'm trying new things. I'm learning more about myself than I really knew. And I feel like that's one way that these lessons are really helping out. I would explain um, Habitudes as being um, character ed, but on steroids. Influenced in a more pop culture way. You know, we show them movie clips every week of movies they enjoy. And then we also pair it with an image so that they're able to remember it. And it gives us opportunities to talk about things. So I would say Habitudes is trying to merge um, positive habits with positive attitudes to create positive results. It's teaching them about how to act, you know, um, what they need to do to be successful. It helps them to build up um, a schedule for themselves without waiting for the adult or the teacher or the parent to do this, to do that, to do this. So it kind of shows them that they have to do it without us telling them all the time. The leadership in our school, in our community, in our world today, we need leaders. They are going to be leading, so let's help them lead the best way we can. That's my vision and, and my passion, be putting it into a program and be able to provide it. You know, that's something very powerful.